Stephen King, you know, Pet Cemetery, the uh, apparently the scariest book by Stephen King. So I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, you know, I, I guess it is. I, I guess it would have to be true because almost everyone is calling it that. But I, I don't obviously know that much about horror in books. It doesn't really register, but it was a great story. I really enjoyed the story. So I'm um, back at it with Stephen King books. It's been a long time since I did that, but I will be getting back into the stride. I do know that the uh, Pet Cemetery movie came out, which is why I read this book. I And I, I kind of watched I watched half of the movie. I watched the ending of the movie, which is uh, unfortunate, but I will go back and watch the rest of the movie eventually when it comes out on Blu-ray or something. That is going to happen, but this... Uh, let me go ahead and talk about this, because this is... Wow! Pet Cemetery is a book written by Stephen King in the 80s. Uh, it was a book that he shelved away for, I believe, two or three years into his uh, drawer before pulling it out because he realized that this was kind of too much of a horror book. This was too disgusting to put out. It was too much. And so he put it aside and then eventually he realized, you know, I need to put out a novel. So he put this out and uh, it, it doesn't show, honestly, because this does not feel like a rushed novel. Maybe the ending kind of feels rushed, but I don't blame him. All of his endings feel rushed. This one feels really good, honestly. I, I love this book just because of the amount of horror elements, the themes that are put throughout this book. It's so simple that even I could understand them. So it's wonderful to be able to understand all that, to be understanding where the author comes from, what sources of horror is he pulling from, really deconstructing what he wants us to feel in this book. And I, I haven't done that to the best of the best, you know, I'm not that great, but I, I've done it fairly well, I think. To begin, I do want to mention that the story in this book is just brilliant. I could not imagine how this guy comes up with such incredible, beautiful story types. I know where the origin of the story came from, you know, the pet cemetery in his own house way back in the 80s, I believe it was, or 70s, late 70s, if I'm, I don't know, around that area where this came, there was an inspiration for this because his son, Owen, nearly died on a car road, on a car road. And so, you know, this was born, and from that, I really feel like that's such a small way to draw all this beautiful, beautiful story and world building. It's incredible. I love the world building in this book. There's a lot of history that goes into it. Very, a lot considering the size of this book. And it's, I think it's just perfectly just enough that we need not too much because, you know, we, we learn a lot about this, uh, the town, a lot about the history of this town, and we know enough that we're, we're, we're adequately scared. Also, not too little because we are, you know, we, we do get a full scope of what's going on. What's festering in this town over here so this is really great about that the world building i think is just wonderful so it's, it's great on that point and also the plot the plot idea and origin beautiful i love that those are great as well the characters were obviously i think a little bit flat as usual in a stephen king book the characters are very live like you know they're they're fairly live like but they do feel kind of flat because they generally don't have a character arc and so you know it, it's kind of weird in that way but this this book did have a character arc and that's interesting i really enjoyed this because i could really see that these characters were complex human beings something about lewis creed that i can tell you uh which i i you know, it's not a spoiler because you'll learn about it very, very quickly. Is that he is a family man. He is a family man, but despite this, he doesn't have an extra side, which is that he is a fairly, you know, not the nicest guy. He's a very rough, tough guy who will slap people, you know, but he is a family man. He's a good person at heart, but he will go through the extra mile to just you know, get him good, right? So uh, we, we do have that little bit of extra world building in there, extra character, and I absolutely love that small, tiny little detail. I love that. That was just brilliant to add that. You know, he didn't have to add that. It wouldn't have made much difference to the story, but just having it there just makes the character elevated to a whole new level, and I, I found that wonderful. Execution, once again, just beautiful. This this book has been the one of the few to chill me a little bit. It didn't scare me, it never really scared me, but it was a little bit chilling. It made me feel weird about reading it, like I shouldn't be reading this. This is, what is this? So I kind of, you know, it took me a little bit of time. I don't actually remember how long. It might have been like five or six days. Probably like two weeks maybe to read this book. So I don't actually remember how long it took me, but it did take me quite a bit of time. So, you know, it, I, I can respect it for that. The best part about this book, without any question, is the amount of thematic stuff going into it just these extra characters uh, oh actually I should mention before that the thematic stuff really builds on the structure of this plot which I found fabulous as well one of the greatest things and that is just that nothing really goes down you know you know what you know what to expect in Pet Cemetery. you know what to expect but the main thing that you are expecting does not happen until far into the book because that's not what this book is about. This book isn't about what you think it's about. It's a book about family. It's a book about horror in your own life, about your history, about just teaching about death, about all that kind of stuff. It's so incredible how he doesn't 
actually put the major, major plot point until the end. And we're all, I was sitting there expecting it to come in within 50 pages, 40, 80, 90 pages, you know, get us going and then we'll ride the rest of the material through. You know, it'll be a very fun experience to see what the, what comes out of that situation. But no, the real story is what builds up to the situation, which is just incredible because, you know, a lot of this book is, is full of his wife who's having this mental thing and uh, his daughter who's learning about death and then, you know, his son growing up and then his neighbor going through what his wife is going through, stuff like that. All this kind of stuff is the main bulk of the story now, and that's just beautiful because it was just so interesting and engaging to see where these people were coming from, how they were growing, how they were overcoming the small struggles. And then we get to the big point, obviously. I'm pretty sure we all know what that is, but I won't say it anyway. And that is where the big stuff goes down. And he does that almost, I think, pretty much flawlessly at the very end. The beginning was an interesting end. I was like, that's it? But yeah, it, of course, it's a Stephen King novel. You know it's going to be that's it kind of an ending uh, and it didn't it wasn't horrible you know it was just kind of like there's you can't leave me like this you know what I mean this kind of like an odd situation but you have to just keep your mind on it and just continue with that odd situation in whatever you think comes after the book so it, it comes like that you know it's a Stephen King book but as you know from the plot structure this is thematically a very death heavy book uh, 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 a book about your past about death about your family about feuds about problems about about yourself it's an extremely incredible book at just looking at what grief and what problems do to a person and that's just brilliant i love that kind of stuff it's like breaking bad it's like that kind of a story it's obviously not to the extent of breaking bad but it is kind of like going in that route so that is very impressive I, I i think that is the main thing about this book this is an incredible thematic book and it teaches you it doesn't teach you a lot but in in the classic stephen king fashion it tells you a lot of stuff that you know but you didn't know you know and that is what i love about stephen king he he takes things that you already know like if somebody asked you this you'd have to think about it a little bit but to th at the end you'll come to the same answer as what this book provides for you but nobody's ever going to ask you these questions you're never going to think about this until you read a stephen king book and at that point you're going to be reading and, and you'll be understanding stuff that you think you know i i know this obviously but you have to think about when you have ever consciously realized this and that's really fun to do so because of that i'm going to give this book an easy peasy five out of five the story wonderful the structure wonderful the thematic presence it was great I loved it it was awesome everything about this book was wonderful it's, it's a scary book uh, fairly close to scary in my opinion it would be scary to people who have lost a loved one which is a very very big part of this book I've heard it from a lot of other people that it's really scary because you can compare it to yourself when you've lost a loved one and uh, that is really where the horror comes from I, I don't know uh, it doesn't really relate to me as much but it does yeah, I can feel the pressure on it. I can feel the horror. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this review, please leave a like down below and let me know what you thought of the book. Let me know what you thought of my criticisms. I didn't really criticize it at all. It was it was almost a perfect book, basically. The only thing I, I didn't like about it, at the middle, it kind of cut, cut in weird ways. And I don't know if I liked that that much. It was, uh, you know, we kind of had a big time skip. That was a little bit annoying, but, you know, you know I, I, I don't know if it's done for the best. I don't know what would have happened if it, there hadn't been a big time skip. Who knows, he probably wrote it without the big time skip. So, uh, who knows, right? Uh, but basically, yeah, let me know if you thought of any of that kind of stuff in the comments down below. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. We hit 80 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. I love you all. You're brilliant. And, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.